What's up tech gang, Stefan here from TechRite. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing and first impressions of the new T-Mobile Revel 5G. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, so super hyped about this device. We're going to go straight into the specifications really quick. This is offered at T-Mobile and at Metro by T-Mobile, so don't think this isn't offered at Metro because it is as well. I believe I paid a little bit over $200 after taxes when opening a new line for the Rebel 5G. Um, by itself, I believe it's a $400 phone, and we have some really good stuff inside this device for $400, so let's go ahead and start on that. Now, starting off with the specifications, we're going to have a 6.5-inch screen, 2340 by 1080p, so full HD screen. We're going to have a triple camera on the rear, our main camera is going to be 48 megapixels and we're also going to have a 16 megapixel front facing camera we also have a qualcomm snapdragon 765 in this device with six gigabytes of ram which is a decent amount of ram i can tell you especially for the price it's really really decent as far as the storage goes we can expand it via micro sd card but we do get 128 gigabytes of internal storage on board so that's always great to see we have a huge 4500 milliamp battery in this device and we're also running android 10.0 the latest version of android Let's go and unbox this though. All right, everyone, so here we have the phone right here. Let's go ahead and take the top off real quick. So here's the phone. We're gonna go ahead and put this to the side, but we have a really, really cool color on this. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. And we have some other really cool features about this phone that you guys need to stay tuned for. Next thing we have inside of here, I believe, is the quick start guides. So we have your SIM card right here. We have our start guide right here. And we have our SIM ejector tool inside of there as well. Next thing we have in here is our type C cable. And the cool thing about this cable is it is going to be made out of a very hard fabric. So it's not just going to be made out of plastic. Really, really cool to see this. And this is type C, as I said before, as you guys can see. So it's USB to USB type C. And last but not least, we have our wall charger. So that is all we have in the box. All right, everyone, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the phone. As you guys see, we have this really, really cool T-Mobile magenta back that's kind of like, kind of reflects in the light. And we have that little ray going down the middle and we have the T-Mobile logo right there. I just think this looks really, really cool. Now above the T-Mobile logo, we actually have the fingerprint sensor. And above that off to the left, we have our triple camera setup. Now our main camera is going to be 48 megapixels. That's going to be our PDAF camera. We also have a second camera right here to the left. That's gonna be an eight megapixel ultra wide. And the one to the right right here, it's going to be our five megapixel macro camera. And we also have an LED flash right above that as well. Now taking a look at the right side of the phone, I just thought this was the coolest thing. We have our power button right there. Now this actually lights up when you're charging the device and or if you get notifications, if you set the device up to flash when you get notifications, we can actually get our light notifications on our power button, which is super, super cool. Bottom of the phone, it looks like we have a double speaker set up and by the sound of this, it seems like it is stereo speakers so that's obviously great to see in the middle we have a type c charging port left side we have our sim tray we can actually expand this via micro sd card top of the phone we have a headphone jack thank you for that t-mobile and to the left of that we have a noise canceling mic now getting into the phone the phone screen actually looks really really good even in sunlight this phone looks really good i was playing with it earlier today now let's go ahead and turn this off. I did set up the fingerprint sensor. I just wanna show you how fast the fingerprint sensor is on this device. So let's go and check that out. Three, two, one, go. Let's go and check that again. Three, two, one, go. One more time. Three, two, one, go. Very, very quick fingerprint sensor. The haptic feedback on this device is actually very, very good as well. So good job on that T-Mobile really do like what i'm seeing so far obviously the phone is super super snappy with the six gigabytes of ram and the snapdragon 765 we have android 10.0 on here now i do want to check out this drop down menu obviously we have our average utilities that are usually on here we also have screencast and nfc in this device which is great to see as well and we also have a backlit power key which i'm going to show you right now let's go ahead and plug this phone in and show you how this lights up all right, everyone, so we have our power cable right here. We're gonna go ahead and plug this inside of the Rebel 5G. And as you guys see on the right side, we get a light right there, which is really, really cool. Um, this basically shows you if the phone is charging and you can get notifications with this light as well if you go ahead and set it up in the settings. But I thought this was a really, really cool feature. Definitely think a lot of people are gonna enjoy that feature. 
And I just wanted to take a minute and see the quality of the video as well as the sound on this device. So let's go ahead and check out a video on YouTube. All right, everyone. So let's go ahead and play this and see how loud this actually is. Fancy word for condensed plastic, but honestly, it works. I feel like the phone itself definitely doesn't feel cheap and compared to other phones at $49. Awesome. This, this looks really, really good. The screen looks really, really good. Another thing about this device, it does have stereo speakers, so you are going to be getting sound from the bottom and the headset just above the screen right there so i think this is definitely a pass the speakers are very very good quality on this device um, i really didn't expect this type of quality especially at this price point um, but the speakers are there the speakers are going to be decent quality you're also going to have a very good time watching videos on this device as well but i think overall this is a really nice screen also we have the hole punch cutout as you guys saw right there um, that kind of made this a little bit more visible. As you guys can see, we have our little hole punch right there. And that is actually going to be our 16 megapixel front facing camera, which is pretty cool. And what we're gonna do next is actually check out the camera. So scrolling into that, let's go ahead and open this up. Now inside of the camera, we have auto, we have video, we have portrait, we have super night, which I guess you take photos in the dark. Obviously, we're going to try all of these out later on in the review. We also have pro mode right here if you guys already know how to use cameras so you can adjust the ISO and the white balance and all that. So definitely check that out for all of you photographers out there. Now in our more section, we actually have slow-mo, stop motion, light trace, pano, super macro, and high pixel. Now if you go in here, there's a few other things right here. We have portrait, super night, and pro mode. Now those are already being utilized on our front page of the camera. But we're just gonna go ahead and take an auto picture and see how this goes. Um, and this is going to go up to 10 times zoom, by the way. Haptic feedback is really nice on this phone. I know I've said it already, but this haptic feedback is just awesome. All right, everyone, so the first photo taken on this device honestly doesn't look too bad. It may be a little washed out as you guys can see right there, but we're going to take more photos on this. Looks like a pretty solid photo though. You know, the blacks are kind of fading a little bit, but we're obviously gonna put this device through its tests and we're going to see how it really performs. I'm also gonna try out a front facing photo real quick, just auto regular. And honestly, it looks pretty decent. Um, it is a very clear photo, so that's a good sign. The colors are decent as well. Um, just a really solid photo. And this is obviously in good lighting in a studio. So we're going to check this out in nature and many other environments to really put this through its tests. But yeah, guys, this phone so far is really cool. Definitely tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. I would really love to know your opinion. Uh, so far, personally, I'm really liking it so far, especially for the price. It's definitely worth the price. Snapdragon 765, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, 6 gigabytes of RAM. You know, we have a 4,500 milliamp battery that's pretty much going to last all day. Really good stuff in this device at a very reasonable price. So if you guys want to go and check this out, came out for T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile, definitely go ahead and check them out. And I believe Metro and T-Mobile are actually being poured in deals with this device as well. So this is the perfect time to get this device. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below as well as subscribing if you are not part of the tech gang already. Also hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, tech gang.